Hey, what's up everybody? Elise is here with another video. Today I'm going over the 13 of the latest jailbreak tweaks for iOS 13.5. Now I do remember that some of these do cost, so if you want to try them out for free, make sure to check out my previous video on what source you need to add to give you that option. And throughout the video, you may notice that I've themed my device from the lock screen all the way to the home screen. I'm using a few tweaks and widgets to customize the appearance, so drop a comment down below if you want me to create a video taking you through everything that you need and the steps to get your device looking like this one. All right, enough chatter. Let's get into our latest 13 tweaks that I have for you. Now to start this off, we have color my battery. With this tweak, it does allow you to customize what type of color that you want based on the percentages that your battery falls under. From 96 to 100%, I have it on green. 91 to 95, I have it on green. A lot of this already comes default. I did change a little bit of the 41 to 45. I did kind of customize a bit, um, some colors right down here. In addition to color my battery, we do have digital battery 13 light. So by clicking on that, you can actually enable this. So we'll see exactly what this does and we can respring the device. Why it's respringing? What this is gonna do is change that actual battery uh, meter up there to a percentage. So as you can see now, I have 94%. But what's so cool about this is, let's get back into settings here. And what makes this great is because it works hand in hand with Color My Battery. So with these same colors that you've already chosen in Color My Battery Tweak, those same settings will apply to this. So once this battery drops to about 56 to 60%, you're gonna see that purple color tone right inside that battery percentage right up there. Next we have Aries, and this is for anybody that doesn't like that current Siri screen that comes up on your phone. And by now everybody has heard of small Siri, but I think this takes it to another level. It does give you that small Siri banner. We can take a look at that by just clicking on respring. Now when you say, hey Siri, you'll see that same identical interface that you'll get in small series. Now in addition, you can also go back into settings with this one, get into your tweaks, get back into areas, and you can turn it into a card and respring. Now when we say, hey Siri, you will see that card type interface. I think this looks a lot better and a lot more unique. Next we have floating dock plus 13. So by clicking on that, you'll see all I've done is enabled it. I disabled everything else. I did change the max docs icon over to six instead of four. And then I just turned on making that dock transparent to have this nice minimalistic look. Outside of that, everything else is turned off. I'm not a big fan of the dock gesture options. I don't really care so much about their suggested and recents. All I want is the option to have more than four. Next, we have hide your apps. This is a very cool tweak if you want to go ahead and hide any of your home screen apps, if you don't want somebody to see the apps that you have, or if it's just very clunky, you don't want to delete the app, then you can select on hide your apps, select the app that you want to hide, go all the way down. For example, I'll go ahead and hide wallet since it's on my home screen right now. FaceTime, let's hide that and see what it looks like. We're gonna go back and click on respring. Now that it's done respringing, we can unlock the device and you can see that both my FaceTime and my wallet app completely disappears from the home screen. Now we're gonna go back in and unhide the apps and see where it would actually put those apps. Are they gonna, is it gonna put them at the bottom down here? Is it gonna put it back to where it was at? So my FaceTime was right up here. So let's see what's gonna happen. And then we're gonna select the apps. We're gonna unhide FaceTime. That's the first app up there. And then we're gonna also unhide Wallet, go back and then respring. After respring, so I'm hoping that both of these apps are back where they were. And there goes FaceTime, there goes Wallet. I like that app already. So if you wanna hide your apps and then just unhide them whenever you want, I would highly suggest getting hide your app. All right, let's move on. Another app that I want you to get is called iCleaner. With this application, it will remove all junk from your phone, including the over-the-air software updates, any battery usage percentage, catches, temporary files. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up my device just to see how much space we're gonna save. Now this does take a few seconds to complete. So my device deleted 6,808 files and saved 1.909 gigs. It will then respring on its own and you'll be good to go from here. If you've always wanted to hide individual applications to keep prying eyes out, or if somebody sees your phone or touches your phone, you don't want them to get into specific apps, then you are in luck. That's done with Arc. 
all you have to do is select the locked app that you want click on that um, turn that on so for example I have clock turned on so if I go to my clock it does have to scan my face before it does let me in while we're in the conversations of hiding your apps or even locking individual apps what about hiding your albums so if you go into photos and hide individual pictures and then when you go into the hidden photos you will not see a preview of anything and it does require either your face ID or passcode. How to hide your photos all you need to do is go into your photos select all the photos that you want to hide so with hide you can hide the five photos now when you go back and go all the way down to hidden you'll see there are seven photos so if you click on that it does require your passcode in order to view those photos Next we have quit all self-explanatory also been updated for iOS 13.5 when you want to quit all the applications running all you need to do is click on clear and that should eliminate all your next we have simple ls2 a simple clock on your lock screen um, you have different options you can choose from so I don't necessarily use this for the lock screen options but more so the always on display so by clicking on that you'll see that you have the options to turn on the OLED display and then make sure that you turn on the always on display so by turning that on we can go back and respring this device now when your device is asleep it'll show this active modern clock with the battery percentage now another cool tweak that I've seen has also been updated is IPA Store 13 this allows you to get free in-app purchases and apps that you have um, I don't know what apps specifically work for it or not but I would definitely highly recommend getting this if you have in-app purchases and then trying it out and see if it will allow you to get those for free the next tweak that we're going to talk about is called gravitation It's more so of a fun tweak so we're going to take a look at that um, with gravitation all I did is enable it and turn off finger gravity so if we go into our home screen, all you need to do is shake the device and all the applications will fall to gravity. And this works throughout all the pages. So if you turn it, all your apps will continue to fall. So what happens, um, what if you want to get them back in order, all you need to do is shake your device again and all your apps will be back in order. So let's shake that again and there we have it. And that wraps up all the tweaks that I have for you today. And team, again, if you do want to know how I got the lock screen looking like this, that gives you the date and the day up there and gives you a quick description of where you're at, the battery um, percentage down here, and also the time. And don't forget the home screen with the date and time up there and also the icons. Do leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get that video as soon as possible for you. All right, peace.